Hi guys. I already started and then I thought, why not come chat? Why not come chat a little bit? I'm going out tonight to a Shea Moisture event. It's like a pop-up shop, I think. Pop-up shop slash mixer mingler type thing in downtown Toronto. So I'm going to head out to that. So I figured I would might as well like put my stuff together and look like a vlogger slash influencer, right? The event doesn't start until nine, so it's evening right now and I have my lights on. So forgive me if it's a little bit too bright, but it's about to pour right now. You can tell it's gonna rain. So there's all the clouds out, like all the clouds are out. No sun at all. So I just started with some concealer, which is Maybelline Fit Me, my fave. And you guys, I got a new setting powder today in the mail. Shout out to my girl D. This is the Sasha um, Buttercup. So I'm going to use that because I've been using this e.l.f. one. Don't like it. It has flashback. This one specifically says on the package, no flashback. So I'm about to use this. I like the color. It's nice and yellow. The e.l.f. one was too white. I got a new face powder too, but I don't want to try it tonight. So I'll try that for you guys another day um, with another get ready with me. I only use powder foundation. This one is actually a full coverage one. Um, so I'm excited to try it out. This one is the Maybelline Fit Me Set and Smooth. It's not full coverage. So it should be a fun time tonight, you guys. I was invited by a friend, so I actually was not invited by the brand. Unfortunately, at this point in my youtube career if you will i still seem to be invisible to brands like i don't get invited to shit i'm not complaining about it because i am somewhat of a homebody but i just thought maybe i would because i'm in toronto and i am a vlogger talk about hair so i don't know it's kind of weird maybe i gotta get my numbers up you know or maybe i just don't know what the heck i'm doing that could be it because I still do YouTube as a hobby. I don't look at it as a business model other than to market my own business, which is product-based. So maybe I'm doing it wrong. Am I doing this wrong? Somebody let me know. Okay, I'm just going in with some contour. I kind of go back and forth with the two colors. This is from my local, um, not drugstore, beauty supply store. It's by Nika K. The contour duo i'll link it below i really like this contour a lot and this is the blush well i've been using this it's a bronzer milani bronzer and this is i've this is what i've been using as a blush all summer it just gives you that glow and it goes so perfect with my summer color it's so goldeny i'm going a little bit heavier than normal since i'm going to an event but i hope i don't end up looking like a clown because that tends to happen. <laughs> Becca, actually, let me let me use um, my Maybelline Master Chrome first with a fluffy brush. Oh, that's so pretty. I love highlighting, you guys. Is the highlight trend gonna die? Because I don't want it to. I like looking like a disco ball. It's enjoyable to me. And then I put a little bit of Becca on top of it for like a little bit extra. Well, it's kind of a lot of extra. Pretty, pretty hush. Shine the light on whatever's worse. Shall we try a new brow pencil today? This is Annabelle. Uh, skinny brow liner in the color Universal Ebony. Usually I use this, my e.l.f. one. Oh, the color is nice. It's nice and flat, if you know what I mean. Like it looks like brow color, not too rich. And it's got a little brush on the end. Yeah, this is nice. I like this. You know what I really want to try? I really want to try the Fenty Beauty. I think it's called Fly Liner. It's their eyeliner. It has such a skinny point. I just feel like it would be like a really sharp wing. And I, my wing is never like sharp. 
I don't wanna play no games, play no games. Fuck around, give you my last name. Have you guys seen the video for No Guidance? Do you guys see why I'm in love with Drake or not? That's Bay. He's so Scarborough. Scarborough is like an East borough of Toronto where I grew up and he just reminds me of home and I love him. That's how we talk out here. <laughs> We're idiots. But like I feel like he would fit in so well with my crew. Like I feel like we would just crack jokes literally all night. I mean he could also get it. Like I do I do enjoy bearded bearded Drake with weight on him. He's definitely glowed up. How's that look? I think that looks good. Thanks, D. I love this. I don't really want to do eyeshadow, but maybe a little bit of gold would be nice. Oh my god. Did I tell you guys? I didn't tell you guys. I got my tongue re-pierced. So for those of you who follow my vlog channel, you know that I had my tongue pierced for 16 years. Um, I got it done when I was really young. And then I took it out about two years ago when I got braces. I got adult braces. I have a whole video series on that. So anyways, I always thought it was just too much metal in my mouth. And um, once I got my braces removed, I just never got around to doing it again until three days ago. So it's fresh and very sore when I say certain words, particularly C's. <laughs> So if I sound a little bit weird, that's why. It's because it's literally three days old. Still very fresh and sore. Um, oddly enough, though, the piercer said that my my um, previous hole was still there. It just was like, it was closed up, but it was still there. Oh, you know what I haven't used in forever? Forever, ever? My Beauty Bakery palette. This is black owned. And so far, seemingly unproblematic. I haven't really heard any drama going on with Beauty Bakery. I've heard lots of drama going on with Juvia's Place. The owner out here acting out of pocket on her personal social media, talking about Jackie Ina and stuff. Like, are you okay, sir? Ma'am, ma'am, are you okay? I don't know what's going on with these brands nowadays. I do really like this palette, though. It's a nice neutral palette. It's, like, really easy to put a quick eye together, you know? So that's why I like it. And I'm not 100% sure what I'm wearing tonight. It's either going to be red or yellow. So I want to keep it neutral because those are vastly different <laughs> colors. All right, I got to take a break, guys. Let's reconvene. BRB. Back. <laughs> I actually had to go ship stuff. I had a few packages that needed to get off today. Unfortunately... My car is in the shop. So I was waiting for my niece Keisha to get home and she just got home so I could steal her car. Cause the shipping place closes at seven and it was 6.45. But I made it just in the nick of time, y'all. I feel like this look would be so nice with lashes, but y'all know I am on the struggle bus when it comes to lashes. So I'm just gonna put like a million coats of mascara. So I think I'm going to wear the Gabrielle wig tonight. I haven't worn her in a while. She's available on my website, which is TonyDaily.com. I still have her available currently in the 1B33 and number four. I'm going to be restocking the, um, the other colors in a couple weeks, though, so you can look out for that. My mic better be on. I swear I will fight somebody. This is a newer one. I prefer them when they get older because I just like the look better. So I always fluff mine out a lot right away, but do you girl, do you. Some people don't like the frizzy look, I do. All right, so now I'm gonna add a little bit of edge control or gel to, the, to my hairline. Okay, yo, I think I might just do gloss. Plus, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be wearing red, and I I just, I don't know what to wear with red. Like, I feel like red lips with a red fit is kind of much. Or is it? Do I want to be much? Y'all let me know. Mm -hmm. 